everyone it's me JP from init tutorials today in this video I will show you how to install and run Windows computer softwares or games in any Android smartphones and tablets so then for more delay let's begin so right now you can see my Android smartphone so firstly what you need to do is just open any web browser and just visit to this website link I'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you can click there and visit to this website link after that just scroll down below and here you will see your installation download and install the apk from the github releases just click on this blue color text now just scroll down below again and you will see here one apk file winletter 1.1.apk so just tap on it and download this apk file firstly as i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to do it again so you firstly download this winletter.apk firstly and install it and after that just scroll down once again and just tap on this assets again and you will see here one file the first file with .obb that is the man onewinletterobb you need to download this obb file again so firstly download both this file and after that just open the play store and in the play store just search for one application ms solid explorer so search this application so like before i have already downloaded and installed it so i'm not going to do it again so you firstly download all these files after that just open the solid explorer file manager and now you will see this kind of user interface so now just tap on this three horizontal lines on the laptop corner and now just tap on this internal memory and just tap on this download option and now you will see here the obb file which you have downloaded so just tap and hold and just copy it now move back to the internal memory now you will see here android just tap on it now you will see here obb1 folder just tap on it and now you will see one more folder com.winletter just open it and just paste the obb file here finally we have passed it so our first task has been completed now you can just minimize this now just open the winletter application which we have downloaded and installed earlier so it will ask you some permissions just tap on allow wait for a few seconds it's detecting your obb file now it will auto install everything for you so have patience so finally everything has been successfully installed you can see here on the right top corner the plus icon just tap on it now you can select the screen size everything so i'll just keep it as default everything you can change everything depending upon your needs you can see here tons of options you can select the memory size also how much memory size you want to give 2 gb 4 gb how much you want to give here so you can manually select also but i will just keep it as it is and after that just click on this tick mark icon now it has create one container file and you can see on the left side three horizontal lines again just tap on it you will get more options like shortcuts container input controls so under the input controls you will get tons of options for a controller which we will discuss later on so right now just tap on this three dot icons now we'll see here run just tap on it now you can see here it has started the window so it's almost like a virtual box if you are familiar with the virtual box available for the raspberry computers so say if you want to maximize it to the full screen just swipe from this direction towards like this twice so you can see here toggle full screen you can toggle the full screen mode but sometimes since it's in the beta portion so there may be some bugs which may not work properly so i'll just restore it back to the default screen so now in order to right and left mouse click what you need to do is just tap and hold with one finger and just tap once with the other finger so you can see here it's showing the context menu similar to the windows counter context menu let me show you again just tap and hold with one finger and just tap once so you can see here you can get the paste option copy option everything right so now let us try to install some windows software or any files so let me go to the d drive let me select the exe file which is commonly used in the windows computer so you can see here this is the windows computer software as so you can see exe file so just double click on it you can see the installer has started so let me minimize this so it's the real windows computer software which we are going to install right now click on ok now just accept the agreement click on next click on next click on next click on install wait for a few seconds until the complete installation is done finally you can see the installation has completed click on finish now you can see here the shortcut icon of the respective windows computer software so just double click on it so you can see here so you can see here exactly the same you can even maximize it 
it's the real Windows software so you can play our music using this media player classic which is quite popular throughout the Windows operating system so say we have finally installed it and now say if you want to uninstall this software so what you need to do is just click on this start below and I will see here programs and just select this MPC which is our media player classic and now just select this uninstall now it's asking are you sure I want to completely remove the MPC just click on yes so do you also want to delete settings everything just click on yes again click on ok finally you can see we have installed the windows computer softwares as well as we have deleted it successfully also and if you want to get the uh, controls then just swipe it like that and you can see here uh, the input controls or keyboards you can just get the keyboard then your android keyboard will pop up whenever you want to type something swipe it again like this again so you can see your input controls so if you want a gamepad or anything you can just select from the rts or you can just select your own custom keyboard layout click on ok so you can see here you can get a windows computer like tabs escape del button control all button navigation button even the number page everything here you can get it when you open your needs you can just disable it again also so if you want to exit this software so you can see your exit just tap on it now it will get exit so by using this application named as winletter you can easily install and run windows computer softwares or games in any android smartphones and tablets very easily so if you never known about this cool application then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching